It's Christmas Eve today, and what better way to spend Christmas Eve than with a whole bunch of drift cars? We're here again at Adaiba today for the Adaiba Drift Cho Tengoku event. Now this event is put on by Drift Tengoku Magazine, uh, which means Drift Heaven. So this is the Super Drift Heaven event. As you can see, the entire car park is filled with drift cars. There's also drifting going on over there. Now, if you don't know where we are, Adaiba is fairly close to the middle of Tokyo, so it's very rare that you get an event like this here. This is where the Tokyo Drift D1 Grand Prix events are usually held, but there has never been like an amateur drift event held here before. Oh, I should have worn a hat. Okay, so this is what the event looks like. The east section is a display, and over on that side are all the cars that are actually driving. And then over there is a drift display area. And then right over the back there is the actual drift competition. So we'll go there first and have a little bit of a look at what's going on. That's the Fuji television building that's always in the background of all these Adiba shots. And here's the course they have here at Adiba. So right now, Team Orange is out there doing a display. That was pretty cool. And over here in the middle is the display area. So it's sort of like a, there's two Christmas trees in like a figure eight. This is Marco. He's wearing these safety goggles. Down in here, you can use them. So if any like rocks get thrown up by the cars, uh, you can protect your eyes. So that's pretty cool. You got to put it back though. This is Keske. I met him a while ago at Mabara. Uh, I actually shot some video of him drifting at Mabara, but uh, I haven't put it up yet. Let's just cut to a quick shot of that now. Since that video though, he's uh, turbocharged his car, so that explains all this smoke. And uh, over there we have Mr. Suzuki and his Ferrari. It looks like he's not going to go out for another 10 minutes, so we'll go back to the car park and see what's going on. Alright, catch you later. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We'll start here in the corner and make our way to the other corner. So this section are all the cars that are actually driving on the circuit layout down there. Man, that's pretty low. That's uh, Yoshida's Laurel from Supermaid. So we've got guys here from all over the country. I think this guy is from Kyushu, I'm not sure. Opti, I think this one's been uh, converted to rear wheel drive. So that is an SR20 in this uh, Nissan March. Alright, it is rear wheel drive. That looks like a real GDR, I think. Yeah, it is. Nice crown wagon. Uh, these things came with a 1JZ turbo standard, what the uh, athlete ones did. They weren't manual though, they're all automatic, so you have to convert them to manual if you want to drift them properly. All right, next row. <laughs> I think we're only on the first row. This is going to take a while. Aristo. This car seems to get a lot of love on the internet. So it's a front wheel drive drifter. Evo. Oh, this is one of those uh, BRZs that uh, was made to use for motorsports. I just came with steel wheels and a plastic bumper. And it looks like it just left it stock and street registered it.
はいポスター欲しいどうぞえいいですかどうぞありがとうございます、はい、All right, I just got a poster from so the、uh, sticker part shop Taka poster is pretty cool they're the guys who make all the、uh, stickers for the team burst cars all these ones here ありがとうございます。One he's built for drifting. It's actually got a gated shifter. Drifting lessons in a Ferrari coming soon. All right, back to where we were. Let's continue. That doesn't look right. I just had to double check what this was. It's a 15 crown with a 15 Majesta face conversion on it. Apparently, the whole front end has just、uh, been cut and fitted. So, a lot of you might、uh, not even know what either of those are. So, usually the crown Majesta comes with the V8, and the regular crown doesn't, just comes with a straight six. <laughs> Uh, nice in there. And the 15 crowns didn't come with the 1JZ Turbo. So he's got a 1JZ Turbo in here as well. It's a pretty cool car. I like it. Another thing I like about this car, see how it's all black. And on the wheels, he's got this、uh, stickers on the inside of the wheel. <laughs> it's pretty nice. And also on the,、uh, on the roll cage. Verossa Chaser Chaser. Sorry, that's a Mark II. What am I saying? Oh, how to tell the difference between a Mark II and a Chaser? Mark II has the square headlights, and a Chaser has the round, sort of BMW style headlights. That's the easiest way to tell. Supra, not too common, but、uh, there's a Supra. Oh, these are the、uh, cars belonging to the Seekit brothers. They're two brothers from down in Okinawa. And they currently live up in Fukushima near Ebisu Circuit. And they're entering、uh, competition. So that's their cars there. They're here today. So if you're wondering, yes, a lot of these cars do have street registration on them. Of course, a lot of them have come from a long way, so the car park just over there on the other side is full of、uh, trucks that brought them here. But、uh, yeah, a lot of them still are street registered. Laurel on VSKFs. Doesn't get much better than that. Another Supra RX7. It's a great event, this. <laughs> It's really good. It's very、uh, rare to get this kind of event this close to Tokyo. You usually have to go to a circuit. One ten Mark II, ninety Mark II. There you go, sexy knights. Oh, damn, look at those wheels. Okay, so I think this is the new thing. So, graffiti stickered wheels. For all the hot boys out there, next big thing, get on it. Classic S14 on professors. And chaser. So, that's the、uh, first half of this car park. Let's move on to the second half. They do have bikes here as well, but we'll get to that. So, the、uh, Kyusha drift section here. Oh, uh oh, what happened here? That doesn't look right. What happened? It's gone, da? Barrier? Yeah, so that's,、uh, that's not going to buff out. Oh well. Okay, that's a better angle. 
Alright, so here we have the bike section. This is a style of bike that's sort of popular in Kanagawa, which is sort of the south of area south of Tokyo. And similar to what street racers do, they go up to the mountains and just do laps. Lots of uh, team stickers and exhaust that aren't actually connected. As you can tell, these guys have been doing displays today as well. All right, let's continue. Uh, this Toyota 86 belongs to the current editor of Driftengoku magazine. That's his daily driver. And this BMW belongs to the guy who's the editor-in-chief of Driftengoku Option, etc. So of course he drifts it. It's got uh, R34 GDR wheels on it. So here's Suzuki's Ferrari drift car. So this is not the same one that was in that uh, video at Ebisu. It's a different one. And the best thing about this one is that it is manual and it has a handbrake. But he's currently making a hydraulic handbrake for it. So that should be interesting. Okay, this car here belongs to a guy called Hosotani and it is probably the most insanely low 180SX in the world. It's all tube frame front. And here we go. For all the uh, car nerds, what car is this? Answer is, it's a Mitsuoka Lesade, which is actually based on an S15 Silvia. So you can see the engine bay is an S15 engine bay. But look how, f usually an S15 ends like here. You can see how far forward it goes. So they've moved the steering rack forward as well. It should usually be around here. And if you look at just the door, the shape of the door, just that, that's an S15. So they're not your average drift car. Hang on. That looks like a motorbike engine in there. I think it is. I don't know if the owner is uh, that guy sleeping there or not, but uh, this is a Mitsubishi Minica with a bike engine. Cool. Man, there's all sorts of stuff here today. Well, it is Christmas Eve. Uh, my Mark II used to have VSKFs on it. Here's another, another one. This is a Mark II Blit by Toyota. So the Blit was the wagon. And I'm pretty sure that the designers were looking at uh, Saabs when they designed that front end. It looks like a Saab. Here's the Gazelle Punch Mark II with the Audi front end. And here's the latest incarnation of Ishii's Cresta. You might have seen it before on videos uh, in a red color, or what other colors has it been? Like an Advan color, but uh, right now he's got sort of a pseudo brushed aluminium look on it. It's still absolutely slammed. All right, I've got a good uh, shot of this car from this angle. I'll cut to that now. <laughs> Speaking of a gazelle punch, this is a sort of interesting engine bay trim made by that guy. And here's the car that belongs to Shinozaki from Formula Drift in Japan. That's him there. And there is a cop car parked next to him. It's not real, is it? No, it's not real, look. Ropatsu Yugu, like it's fake, it means um, uh, six cylinder toy.
Whether this is 100% legal or not, I'm not really too sure. It's even got the right uh, badge on the grill. Uh, <laughs> right, this is actually a genuine drift Porsche. I've seen this guy drifting this Porsche before. Funny story too, I sat in it once to check it out and I accidentally kicked off the uh, rear view mirror. Y32 SEMA with RB26 in it. This is one of the N-Style cars. N-Style always brings out some pretty cool stuff. So, one day Sora. So you might have seen a blue N-Style Super before. This is not that one, it's a different one. This is just for cruising around in. I was just talking to this guy, he said, the car was in pretty bad condition before. He had three days to get it ready for this event and managed to make it. <laughs> yeah, so there was a selection procedure for all the cars to enter here today. They all had to be at least, uh, at least presentable. It's an unusual Infinity as a drift car. <laughs> you don't see the uh, Maziora paint too much these days anymore. Nice colour. Karina. And this Sylvia's got white wheels on the left and black ones on the right. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are breaking their stuff today. <laughs> the Verossa it was our first uh, S2000. There's an S15 with the uh, 1JZ. It's easy to put a lot of these engines in. So it's easier, it's easier. Yeah, the outside of the car looks almost stock, so that's pretty cool. This really feels like the best event I've ever been to at a diver. They have a lot of car events here. They have, uh, of course, they have D1 Grand Prix, and they also have uh, like classic car shows and uh, you know the American car show that we came to in a previous video. And this is a bit of a legendary car. This is... This guy here, Okajima's Verossa, also seen in a previous video. See <laughs> So it's the, uh, the perks of being a, a famous YouTuber. Uh, let's cut to a shot of this car at Scuba Circuit now. Yeah, 2JZ engine, uh, very simple style. We'll be seeing this car next year at an event at uh, Nico Circuit. So look forward to that. That's a BMW Z3 there. So 
definitely not the most common drift car here in Japan. This is a Nissan Crew. Now they usually use as taxis, but uh, people sometimes convert them with uh, SR20s or sometimes even RB26s. C35 Laurel. Those had uh, RB25s in them. Oh, another F15 with a Toyota 6. We've got a 2J. That's very sparkly. Look how much flake there is in that. It's more flake than paint. Okay, I think I found the best sticker. An epic night for all us bitches. Close enough. <laughs> there seems to be a Lotus Europa here. Hmm. You don't usually see them driving around on the street too much, but there are a lot of Lotus Europas in Japan. I really like the uh, Car Modify Wonder kits for the 180s. You got that GT look without being too sort of ugly, boxy GT. The uh, diamond racing steel wheels. They never really caught that much on in Japan, but uh, you, s you do see a few people running them. Another Civic. Another couple of Civics. We have a group of front wheel drive drifters here. It's not that big of a thing, but it is a thing. Of course, you know, like I said before, everything seems to be a thing in Japan. Here we have the Kaso Subashiri guys. Group of uh, Toyota 86 drivers from around Mount Fuji. This is their stencil. Mustang. It's the nicest 15. Oh, I've seen this car before. Uh, it's got a not really, really nice NA SR20 build in it. Yeah, I'd like to see how that uh, sounds. I've never actually, I've seen it on the internet. I've never seen it in real life. I gotta block this, gotta block his face out. Gotta block his face out. There we go. <laughs> if you know that car, you know why. Oh, hang on. Hosatani's going out. bunch of uh, Imprezas parked over here. There's a Forester. And these guys do drift as well. I've seen them a lot at Nico Circuit. Legacy. Another Legacy. Damn, it looks tough on those wheels. Oh, we're finally at the end of the pit walk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
good banner for the event here, and everyone's been putting their team stickers on it. <laughs> Australia! So there you go, he's uh, learning Australian style burnouts. This is the last event for today. They're doing the top four of the drift competition now. <laughs> ZX90. So that's all from here today at a diver, the a diver drift chore Tengoku event. It's a great event. I've never seen anything like this before, so close to the middle of Tokyo. There's so much cool stuff here to see. Pretty good way to end the year. And on that note, thank you so much to everyone who's watched Noriara over the past year. Uh, it's grown a lot. The channel has grown immensely. Thanks to all of you guys watching it. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next year. Australia!